Neutrophils are a type of white blood cell that are released from the bone marrow and immature neutrophils are usually present in low amounts in the blood. Generally, immature neutrophils mature before they are released into the blood to help fight infection. When an infection is present, the neutrophils are released into the blood before they have matured. When there is a predominance of immature neutrophils, it is called a left shift. It is a useful tool for indicating an infection, but should not be used as a sole indicator. The IT ratio is a calculation of the total number of immature neutrophils divided by the total number of neutrophils. To determine the IT ratio, simply determine the number of immature neutrophils and divide that by the total number. An IT ratio greater than 20 to 25 percent, or 0.2 to 0.25, is suggestive of infection or sepsis. The IT ratio is most informative if taken one to four hours after birth. It can best be used for negative predictive value. So, if the IT ratio is normal, the likelihood of not having an infection is very accurate. The main challenge comes in determining what values are important and where they go. A complete blood count with differential is needed to determine the presence of each type of white blood cell. The differential means that the lab counts each different type of white blood cell and immature blood cells and is reported as a percentage. The CBC will report all of these values. The provider will need to determine which are mature and immature neutrophils and properly input them into the formula. In real life, we care about all of these values and overall clinical picture, but for learning the IT ratio, the extra values are distracting. So first, let's determine which values are not needed in the calculation. Calculate the IT ratio for example 1. To start, recall the formula, the number of immature neutrophils divided by the total number of neutrophils. Now, determine which values from the CBC are important for the calculation. We would need the mature neutrophils, or SEGs, and the immature neutrophils, which are the bands, myelocytes, and metamyelocytes. Plug the values into the formula. The total percentage of immature neutrophils is 25 and the total number of neutrophils is 44. Divide these values together for an IT ratio of 0.56. Recall that a normal IT ratio is less than 0.2 to 0.25, so this indicates an infection. Calculate the IT ratio for example 2. To start recall the formula, the number of immature neutrophils divided by the total number of neutrophils. Now, determine which values from the CBC are important for the calculation. We would need the mature neutrophils, or SEGs, and the immature neutrophils, which are the bands, myelocytes, and metamyelocytes. Plug the values into the formula. The total percentage of immature neutrophils is 29 and the total number of neutrophils is 66. Divide these values together for an IT ratio of 0.43. Recall that a normal IT ratio is less than 0.2 to 0.25, so this indicates an infection. Calculate the IT ratio for example 3. To start recall the formula, the number of immature neutrophils divided by the total number of neutrophils. Now, determine which values from the CBC are important for the calculation. We would need the mature neutrophils, or SEGs, and the immature neutrophils, which are the bands, myelocytes, and metamyelocytes. However, this differential also reported the promyelocytes which are another immature form. Plug the values into the formula. The total percentage of immature neutrophils is 8 and the total number of neutrophils is 57. Divide these values together for an IT ratio of 0.14. Recall that a normal IT ratio is less than 0.2 to 0.25 so this ratio is reassuring for no infection. Calculate the IT ratio for example 4. To start recall the formula, the number of immature neutrophils divided by the total number of neutrophils. Now, 
determine which values from the CBC are important for the calculation. We would need the mature neutrophils, or SEGs, and the immature neutrophils, which are the bands, myelocytes, metamyelocytes, and promyelocytes. Plug the values into the formula. The total percentage of immature neutrophils is 18 and the total number of neutrophils is 50. Divide these values together for an IT ratio of 0.36. Recall that a normal IT ratio is less than 0.2 to 0.25, so this is suggestive of infection. Calculate the IT ratio for example 5. To start recall the formula, the number of immature neutrophils divided by the total number of neutrophils. Now, determine which values from the CBC are important for the calculation. We would need the mature neutrophils, or SEGs, and the immature neutrophils, which are the bands, myelocytes, metamyelocytes, and promyelocytes. Plug the values into the formula. The total percentage of immature neutrophils is 13 and the total number of neutrophils is 51. Divide these values together for an IT ratio of 0.25. Recall that a normal IT ratio is less than 0.2 to 0.25, so this is borderline and should utilize other assessment findings. The key points to remember are the formula and that the presence of more immature neutrophils is suggestive of an infection. This is also referred to as a left shift. Lastly, an IT ratio of greater than 0.2 to 0.25 is suggestive of infection or sepsis. In real practice, the IT ratio will only be a piece of the bigger puzzle. Always take the rest of the assessment findings in mind and have a low threshold for treating sepsis.